Hello everybody and a very warm welcome back to Tony North Eastern and I hope you're all keeping safe and well and uh, it's good to read the comments um, this morning and um, very much appreciate um, all your input and feedback and uh, yes so here we are part two of building these station canopy support brackets uh, last week we made the jig up where we could assemble these and solder them together right so where we are at the moment we have our 30 plus I've done a spare one because I never know you might need a spare one for at least working out um, other things that are going to go on with these brackets because they're still not finished um, I forgot to mention last time that once we've took back the, the solder we can then um, sand them down both sides to get them nice and flat like we have there and there see all the solder is nice and flat but be aware that the solder does clog up the files um, but if you use a round file of taking off as much as you can before using uh, the finer grit sandpaper just to flatten them. Um, that would, the round file, funny enough, doesn't get clogged up as much as a flat file would do. Right, so where where are we now? The next stage is to put a frame around the triangular part of the bracket so we can then mount them onto the building so what I'm going to use for that is some 2 mil by 0.5 strips some 1.5 quarter round and to finish off because I've got no 2 mil half round I'm going to cannibalize this old fencing and cut out these because these this these railings here if you like are flat on one side and roughly about two mil round on the other side so that's what I'm doing there so it's a question now of cutting loads of two mil pieces of quarter round and that fence to create that I wait no that little support there is what we've seen in the photographs last week and then we then mount the brackets to that which actually sits if I can get you in zoom which actually sits on that piece that we've just made so it'll actually sit on there you notice I've left the long length pretty proud at the top because that's for the other piece which is going to come this way along this edge um, let's see how far we can get on with this I have assembled this one so you can see what the poly strip looks like when it's stuck onto the bracket um, as you can see that little um, decorative piece on the bottom actually supports the bracket really does stand out and I've put a piece of plastic strip across the top as well because that's going to actually not necessarily support the canopy but it will support um, um, a cardboard um, right angle strip which will then support the canopy so there's another piece to add to this piece but uh, I think that will be made later on but um, you can get the idea of what I'm trying to achieve with these brackets so this might take me a while so that's one down and 30 to go before you start gluing any plastic strips to these brackets you've got to give them a clean so I'm cleaning them as I go and I'm just using some thinners and a, and a cotton bud good old cotton buds come in handy for all sorts so all I'm doing is just taking off any looks that may be left behind or 
any grease because uh, flux is oil of sorts and uh, you can see how dirty the cotton bud is going already and that way once you've glued the strips to your bracket the hole must be ready for painting notice how uh, in the cleaning stages of these brackets what I mean by that is when I was, when I was sanding them I sanded down these edges here and here and removed the copper coating on the tick rods uh, that way we get a direct contact with the glue onto the uh, steel if you like mild steel because that's what they are they're just uh, look at that look how filthy that is so it just saves a little job later if you can clean them now just by removing all the grease before we start gluing these to the plastic strips as I'm cleaning I'm thinking to myself how dirty these things are um, all down to the dust the sanding dust I think it's got to be and uh, the grease doesn't help that much but so I've decided to clean them all at once get them as squeaky clean as possible because uh, look at that the, the filth coming off of these The assembly of these pieces is quite straightforward. Um, the 2mm by 0.5mm, I measure 21mm from the top, just give it a mark and then add some contact cement and then pick up your quarter round first and place that at the pencil line if I just quickly turn this around so it's facing the right way so you want the flat edge of the quarter round up against the line and just turn it around like so and then the half round which we've got off our fence we'll just stick that underneath with like that and then that gives it its unique shape like so and then the next thing to do is to use some super glue because you've sanded that edge uh, you've got a little bit of a flat on there so you've got something there for the super glue to get a hold of just run a smidgen of super glue along that edge and then line it up with the center of that plastic strip like so it might take a little bit of an effort to get it to stick in place but uh, that's what you're looking for and then what you do then is make sure that the top is a T it's not quite there yet so I might just have to give that a little twist before it sets like so and then you've got your T the plastic and the support should be a good solid T like so just make sure it's you've got a little bit of play time with super glue but it does go off pretty quick right in the next bit to do is to put on your long strip which I've made that 36 millimeters so it's about a millimeter longer than what I need so I can trim that back before I add that piece I just want to put a little bit of that plastic contact adhesive in that corner so that we can melt the two plastic edges together and just slide that on hopefully 
gonna get it to stick to your fingers. So that's touching the upright piece. And yet again, make sure we have the T here on this edge. And what we'll do then, to make sure it's got it, all the while making sure your support is in the middle of this plastic strip. And because you've got a round corner in that bracket there, right in the corner, you've got a round corner, we can fill that with contact adhesive. And then we can trim that bit off there. get that square and then we'll do the same with the front. Please cut that off and then there we go. One support with its half frame or its right angle frame on. So that once it's dry is ready for painting. Still, still a bit uh, loose that so what we might have to do just to give it bit more strength is to run some plastic weld down the inside of them just to melt away any super glue residue and hopefully melt the plastic as well make sure it's got a hold of that support and there it is one support done moving on a little bit um, I have now painted some of the rings inside these support brackets. So there's one without the frame. So this is the one I did the, the test on just to see what the colour would look like. It's the same blue gloss 48 that I've been using on the doors and other bits and pieces of the station. So that's the test sample as it were and here's one completely painted with the frame as well. So I've painted the TIG rods, if you like, that go around the rigs, rings in white. But um, we're not quite finished with these yet because this little cone is underneath. I'm going to have to paint that in stone, a stone colour, like I've used uh, in other areas of the station. But um, once that's done, then all these will be finished. But uh, I've still got quite a few more left to assemble and paint. So I just thought I'd show you this quick update. Well, it's this the work, this building the model railway. Well, I know where I'm off to. It's a shame this video's got to go to an end. Anyway, I might see you down at the Saracen's Head. Thanks again for watching now. And we'll see you again soon. Bye. Thank you.